Now, see your lens formula. Lens formula is actually a relation which is between the focal length, object distance and image distance. That is actually here 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u. Whether it is a concave lens or convex lens in both the cases formula is this. So, now we have to derive this formula that is a lens formula. So, let us take for first the convex lens and here we can take suppose this is a convex lens of certain focal length, this is a thin lens, this is optical center C, here is somewhere is f and here is also here f dash I take. Object is placed over here suppose that is A and B, one ray is parallel to principal axis after refraction it passes through focus. Another one is here passing through optical center I am meeting at this point and this ray is here A dash and B dash. So, object is A B and image is obtained A dash B dash. Now, see here this image is real inverted and also magnified here it is seen from the diagram only. This point if you have taken suppose here P. Now, first we can take triangle triangle A B C similar to triangle A dash B dash C. Here this these two are vertically opposite angles these are 90 degree angles. So, obviously, that is a A A property that these two triangles are similar. If the triangles are similar their sides are in the you know ratio then we can write here now A B upon A dash B dash is equal to B C upon B dash C. This is the first equation here. Similarly, we can take triangle P C F dash and A dash B dash F dash. These two triangle this one and this one are again similar by the same property. So, we can write P C upon a dash B dash is equal to C F dash upon B dash F, B dash F dash. Now, P C is equal to A B because the distance between two parallel lines are equal. So, this and this line are parallel. So, the P C is equal to A B. So, it can be written here A B upon A dash B dash is equal to C F dash upon B dash F. So, now we have uh, we have got A B upon A dash B dash is equal to C F dash upon B dash F dash actually here. So, this from the first and second these two are equal here. So, from this and this side are actually equal. So, these two are also equal. So, from the equation first and second we can write C F dash upon B dash F dash is equal to B C upon B dash C. This can be written from these two equations 1 and 2. Now, we can solve these two here. So, you know that thing is here C F dash is the focal length. So, this is the this side is positive. So, we can write here F upon B dash F dash nothing here it does not you know have any significance. So, we can take here C B dash minus C F dash that is B dash C can be written. Now, B C is object distance. So, we can write minus u that is opposite to incident rays and B dash C is here B dash C that is the image distance. So, that is V here. So, we can write F upon C B dash is again V minus F is equal to here V minus F is equal to minus u upon V. We can cross multiply F V is equal to minus U V and plus here U F. Now, we can divide this equation by U V F both the sides. So, we will be getting 1 upon U is equal to minus 1 upon F plus 1 upon V. So, we can write here 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u. So, this is here actually lens formula 
So, the Lenz formula is which we have derived 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u. This is same for the any type of lens whether it is a convex or concave. And see here, here I have taken the object and the real image and this formula can be derived for concave lens also. And same concept will be used it means the same similarity property and also it can be derived for the virtual images. So, that you can practice for the different cases because in the exam it can be asked in any way. Now, say linear magnification. Linear magnification is actually defined as the ratio of height of image to the height of the object. So, we can write m is equal to that is h dash upon h. h dash is the height of the image and h is the height of the object. So, linear magnification can be defined by this way. And this can be you know by using the previous diagram or the diagram used in the lens formula, we can also derive m is equal to v upon u. So, we can also write h dash upon h is equal to v upon u. Now, see here this magnification has no units because it is the ratio of two same quantities. Now, see here power of lens. Power of lens is actually it is the measure of the degree of convergence or divergence. And now, basically it is defined as the reciprocal of focal length in meters. So, when you are taking the focal length in meters, so mathematically we can define power of a lens is equal to the reciprocal of focal length in meters and it is measured in that unit that is called diopter and it is written plus minus d. So, when f is positive that is a plus d and when f is negative it is written minus d. So, for convex lens power is positive and for convex uh, concave lens power is negative. So, the power of lens is here this one and its unit also can be written here per meter that is meter raised to power minus 1. So, this is about the power of lens. Now, if you have got two or more lenses together, suppose you are taking the combination of the lenses. And in that, that case like a two lenses you have taken in this way, they are placed in contact and having power p 1 and p 2. So, power can be added algebraically. So, the net power will be here that is p 1 plus p 2 plus and whatever the number of the lenses you can add. So, the total power can be obtained just by adding algebraically. 